We start this hour with breaking news from here at home, where in November 2023, the headline inflation rate increased to 28.2 percent. That's relative to October 2023 headline inflation rate, which was 27.33 percent. Now, looking at the movement, the November 2023 headline inflation rate showed an increase of 0.87 percent points when compared to October 2023 headline inflation rate. Furthermore, on a month-on-month -month basis, the headline inflation rate in November 2023 was 2.09%, which was 0.35% higher than the rate recorded in October 2023. Now, this means that in November of 2023, the rate of increase in the average price level is more than the rate of increase in average price level in October of 2023. Well, joining us now to break down uh, the implications of these numbers, of course, we have a RISE business analyst, Bode Oshosami. Great to have you on the program, Bode. Let's get straight into it. What are we learning from the numbers that have just come out? Well, I think um, the first thing is that it may be premature to be taking a victory lap in terms of uh, the drop in the rate of increase in inflation because we are now seeing inflation uh, going up at a faster rate. Uh, the, the numbers came in at 28.2 percent. Many analysts had expected more like 27.5 percent. That's year on year. That's higher than 27.33 last month by 0.87, a bigger spike than the 0.61 percent jump that we saw in, in October. Month on month inflation came in at 2.09 percent, which is also surprisingly high. It was expected by most analysts to come in at about 1.54. Uh, percent and again it's higher than 1.73 uh, percent in October and um, it's closer to the 2.1 percent that we saw in, in September so the, the bad news of course is that you want inflation even though it's increasing to be increasing at a lower rate but um, here we see the the steepness of, of the uh, curve going up uh, as far as inflation and prices are concerned and um, inflation not just up but accelerating the main contributors we don't need to look too far clearly food and non-alcoholic beverages um, that's by far the main thing to watch and um, followed by housing water electricity and gas if you look at uh, the, the the details on a year-on-year -year basis urban inflation that's in november was 30 0.21%, that was 8.13%, uh, higher compared to 22.09 recorded in November uh, 2022. On a month-on-month -month basis, the urban inflation was also 2.23% uh, in November, 0.41% higher compared to what we saw uh, last month, which was 1.81%. Uh, Rural inflation also going up, it was 26, it came in at 2643 on a year-on-year -year basis. Um, higher than 5.5 um, points higher than what we saw in November 2022. On a month-on-month -month basis, the rural inflation in November was 1.99%. Uh, that's up by 0 0.31 points uh, compared to October 2023. So 1.99 compared to 1.67% in October. Clearly, rural inflation also going uh, up. So the pressures definitely have been int intensifying since the government's elimination of oil subsidies, even though international oil prices seem to be stabilizing downwards. Naira's currency weakness as the central bank announced reduced interventions in the foreign exchange market is another major driver. That may be why we're seeing this uh, higher spike. Even though supply, we understand, is arguably improving. Uh, and the uh, prices of food still uh, impacted by persistent security supply chain issues in food producing uh, reg regions. We had thought month and month inflation will continue to decline, like the central bank governor uh, said at his um, uh, dinner. Remember that uh, speech at the, the, the banker's dinner? But uh, this time, yes. we've seen a but if I may, if I may, I'm so sorry, we, we have such little time. Can you tell us more about the implications for the Nigerian economy and the central bank? Well, just like I was saying, uh, this may be a bit of um, a setback for the central bank as they were taking a premature uh, victory lap that inflation, rate of inflation was going down. The World Bank said on Wednesday that definitely Nigeria needs to control inflation and stabilize its foreign exchange uh, market. IMF and Fitch, they have endorsed the market reforms. Uh, and of course, we know that the economy is feeling the pain 
of this inflation. If you look at the latest PMIs fell uh, to 48 in November 2023. Uh, so higher inflation and higher for longer interest rates is not an environment that will foster economic growth. Even if we get improvements in oil production in 2024, then go to refinery kicking off, the dampened uh, consumer appetite will still weigh on, on consumption and that will hurt uh, 2024 numbers. So uh, I, I think it, it's, it's a tough one. Um, we could see momentum of reform accelerating and, and broadening to other sectors and investments coming in in the second quarter of 2024, helping growth, uh, and we could see some bright spots, uh, but um, inflation is not expected uh, to go down, even though in the third, maybe second quarter, you could see um, some base effects taking it down, but not, not enough uh, to perhaps uh, get to the target uh, of the budget, which is, I think, about 21.4% uh, in 2024. Right, Wadir Shasami, a RISE business analyst, thank you so much for doing such justice to these numbers in such a limited amount of time. Thank you so much.